Let's write the formula for potassium ferrocyanide. So the first thing we note is potassium. So we can already just write a K here for potassium. But this ferrocyanide, you're not going to find ferrocyanide on the periodic table. This is actually a polyatomic ion. And it's a little bit of a complex polyatomic ion. It's FeCn6. And you'll normally see brackets placed around the FeCn6, the ferrocyanide, and it has a 3 minus ionic charge. Because we have this 3 minus here, potassium on the periodic tables in group 1, that's 1 plus, we're going to need 3 potassium. So 3 times 1 plus, that's 3 plus, and that'll balance out the 3 minus. So this is the formula for potassium ferrocyanide. And do be careful because potassium ferrocyanide is different. Well, the ferrocyanide has the 3 minus, the ferrocyanide is 4 minus, so you'd have a slightly different formula. This is kind of an interesting looking compound. Pull it over here. Where we have that iron at the center and those cyanide, those six cyanide ions around that. This all has a three minus. And we have those three K plus, those three potassium ions to balance the charge. So here's our three potassium ions. I would expect that if you were asked to write this formula in general chemistry, you would probably be given this ferrocyanide anion on a table of polyatomic ions. So you wouldn't have to have it memorized. But check with your teacher. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.